Hello everyone, welcome to another build video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Berserker condition build. We're going to be using the uh, sword and torch. And on the back of that, we're going to be using a longbow. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. The build is going to be in the description as always. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so now let's get on to what you need to run for this uh, setup. And uh, first, we're going to head towards the grading. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to the search bar on the armor, type in Tyrion Gladiator, and you should come up with this Gladiator chest plate. We're going to need six pieces, so we're going to need the chest, the legs, the gloves, the headgear, the boots, and the shoulders. So... Tyrion is the set you're looking for, this one. You're gonna need this for the build, because this is what I'm running. Um, it gives power, vitality, and condition damage. You'll notice on the right side, which says currently equipped, I'm using runes of Balthazar. Now, Balthazar is the runes we're running on this whole build, so you're gonna want to need those two. Now, the amulet we are looking for is... 30 silver we're gonna need this this is pretty much the same stats it's our vitality condition and we're running a jewel on it which is condition power and vitality you're gonna need that jewel to uh put on these uh amulets and you're gonna need two rings so now you want to go to the rings and uh the rings you want is a carrion ring which is the same stats but you're gonna need that jewel again now here's where it gets a little bit expensive. So now we're going to need to get these. These are the accessories. Um, these are the best ones I could find for the build. It's the same stats again. And it has the same jewel. So we're stacking a lot of condition. So you're going to need two of these. Uh, here's the name. Up in the front. You're going to need two of these. Which will set you back to almost five gold. Yikes. That was like three gold the other day. <laughs> Okay, now the sword we want for the front bear is the Kyrian Tribunal Sword of Rage. Now, the Kyrian Tribunal Sword of Rage has the same stats, but it also comes with a superior sigil of rage, which gains quickness for 3 seconds upon critically striking a foe. This is pretty good. It's costing you almost 1 gold. This is pretty much 1 gold, but very good sword. We have to buy. Now the torch. The torch is the Kyrian Tribunal Torch of Rage. As you see the theme here. Um, same stats. Gives quickness. Very good torch. It does a good job. And now for the longbow. And yes, you've guessed it. It's the Longbow of Rage. Yes, it's the Kyrian Longbow of Rage. And it gives quickness also. This is the stat we are going for. You can uh, put another sigil in there probably one that'll give might upon switching weapons or um some form of quickness but this is what we have <laughs> this is the setup i am running if you want to copy this i'm not going to go over them you can look on the build page what i have in the description and you can read through these if you want but just copy these and this will get you a good setup okay now for our utility skills we are running Mending for our heal. Removes conditions upon heal. Our seventh ability is Shattering Blow. Our passives give this burning damage and it also has bleeding damage. We gain stability from it and it blocks an attack for like one second. 
the block attack I don't really think is worth it, but it's nice for the dot. Uh, speed it like it comes back up. It's on a cooldown of 15 seconds, which is very nice. This is our big buff for justice. It gives us 6 might and some fury. It also buffs allies, so if you have someone in your group and you need to buff them, put this up and it's great. Also comes back pretty fast. And then you have 12 might for like 25 seconds. Very good, very strong. They use it all the time. Okay, so now for our ninth ability, and we have Wild Blow. It gives us Fury and does banning damage to the enemy. Also knocks them back. And we have a little thing in our passives in our build. So when we knock someone back, it also inflicts weakness and leads them for seconds that's pretty good passives work well here now last but not least the ultimate couldn't really find oh well I, I switch in and out with this I usually switch with this because of the headbutt and the stun but this will apply of lead with our passives as you saw but Dignit of Rage gives us great adrenaline uh, reach in while in combat and if we activate it we go really powerful like if we activate this activate it once more and then activate our ultimate we are on 17 might that's just us buffing ourselves that's pretty good then if we heal we obviously get all might 22 so it's pretty powerful. This is a pretty powerful build. It hits hard. The dots are pretty good. So yeah, 